Well, a call to action from Governor Mike DeWine nearly seven months ago, still no firm answer. And the governor called for regulating low level THC products. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us about the competing bills. Back in January, Governor Mike DeWine asked lawmakers here at the State House to regulate Delta 8 products. Now lawmakers are on summer break and no regulations have been set in place. Delta 8 is a low level THC product, sometimes known as diet weed. Right now, it is completely unregulated, meaning anyone at any age can buy it. DeWine worries the packaging it comes in might look like candy or cereal and says it's too appealing to kids. There is support across the state house to put age restrictions in place, but no bill has been passed. Representative Sarah Carruthers is trying to change that. It just makes sense. Her new House Bill 642 would task the Department of Agriculture with studying the product and then creating a report to set temporary rules about age restrictions, where Delta 8 can be sold, and testing standards, among other things. It's a no-brainer. I don't think anyone wants to hurt their public. They just want it to be safe, and sometimes restrictions are necessary. Should people here in Ohio who produce Delta 8, sell Delta 8, be worried about their bottom line? Should this be enacted? I don't believe so, no, because I think if they produce it, chances are good they're using the correct ingredients. I think the people overseas should be concerned because I'm always scared of overseas products. Right now, the Senate is not scheduled to come back before November and the House still has not posted their schedule. So as far as action goes, this is what DeWine says about calling lawmakers back early. Don't know yet. Don't, Do you know? Know, yet. don't know yet. I, I don't really know. There was also a Senate bill to regulate Delta 8, but that also includes a public smoking and vaping ban and is several pages longer than the new proposal. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.